Hi, I'm Jean Rett, and you're watching Southern Charm Realty TV, the place to be to get the real estate experience you can love and trust. Today, I wanted to start the new year, by the way, um, Happy New Year 2018. I wanted to start the year off with um, my guests who are kind of behind the scenes. Realtors don't uh, get the credit they deserve in our community awareness. Uh, there is amazing things and I'm so proud of my colleagues for the things that we do in the community. So I have Randy Alvarez and Ellie Tran here today to talk about the different things that we do as realtors in our community. Thank you guys for coming. Thanks. So, Randy, why don't you explain exactly what the Community Awareness Committee does? Well, well thanks for having Ellie and I today. You're welcome. Uh, the Community Awareness Committee is one of the greatest committees, I think. I'm a little biased um, at the Association of Realtors. What we do is exactly what it is. We, we put the realtor's name out in the community. Um, we do a lot of great things. Hopefully, Ellie will expand on those. But uh, exactly like the title says, we, we're, we're the part that exposes the realtors to the community. And you do a lot of very generous things. The money that you guys contribute as a, as a committee to the community is amazing. I know that you guys are there, but doing the research for the show, I was amazed at the different monies that went out. For example, the teacher grants. I mean, I went through that list of teacher grants. There's 17 um, different projects that, that the realtors funded for local teachers. Um, can you expand on the teacher? <laughs> 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 Didn't mean to throw you in the, you know, in the headlights in there. The yeah, there. exactly, Ellie. Um, actually, the teacher grant, it was a lot of fun to go through their list. They submit what they need the grants for and then we use our budget numbers and figure out who we can send what to and we send it out but this year we got approval to up that amount for next year oh you did mm -hmm. oh cool and yeah because last partner? year you guys did six thousand dollars right and we just the... got it approved in the 2018 budget to increase that to nine thousand dollars so wow we'll about $9, that's really the amazing there was one on here that i thought was so cool the hydroponic and the, the hydroponic um, garden for one of the schools and the pig hearts for the dissection. Y'all, I loved biology <laughs> in school. And so, oh yeah, Ellie makes mm -hmm. the face. No, it was like, that was like, ooh, wow. We, we get the frog to dissect. So I just found that amazing oh, yeah, that we could do that. Of, another one, a uh, Fort King middle school teacher. Um, she has a, one of the special ed teachers and she uh -huh. did a, oh, yeah. a tactile program for the touch, for the visually oh, yeah. impaired, okay. that was awesome. And you know, and again, we had other teachers that did something as simple as science magazines. You know, that right. just because it's it's not in their budget that they can afford that. Right. So just those little amounts help go a long way. And people, uh, the general public, I don't think realizes how much we give back as a organization. You know, and um, and the involvement that we do have. Randy, you're very passionate. I love to, I love to hear Randy talk about this, but um, the, um, um, well. That, the, when you said pig yeah. hearts, that's yeah, right I on track. Yeah, <laughs> I know, that got me off track. Pigs. But um, our youth uh, fair and rodeo, Randy's huge in that. Uh, I, uh, that's a passion of mine. Southeastern yes. Youth Fair has been part of this community for almost 100 years. Yes. And um, again, it's a huge event every single year held right here in Marion County local Marion County children. Um, again, uh, the Community Awareness Committee, over the past several years, we've been buying uh, the kids hogs, lambs. Uh, we've been trying to buy steer, but they're a little pricey. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and what we do with that meat is we donate it back to the community, the Brothers Keeper, uh, Salvation Army. Interfaith Service. Interfaith. Um, so, you know, we donate all that back to the community, you know, to help feed those in need. Right. Um, and again, when I was president in 2014, and you, you did a fabulous job that thank year. Thank you. I You're appreciate welcome. that. I had to blow my horn there for me. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, again, as, as faces change on the committees, um, we were finding ourselves, you know, like when a, a new committee leader came in, chairperson came in, you know, they kind of picked up their passion and ran with it. But what we did this year, and Allie just touched on the, the Hillcrest School uh, endorsement and support, um, we're actually putting that into our, our bylaws now, or into our rules and regulations. So that's going to be an ongoing support year after year so after we, year. So we don't year. have to, you know. Yeah, so we don't have to, you know, if somebody comes in with a, a, a different uh, little project yes. you know, they want to fund, 
but those are things that keep us in the community. You know, they see us year after year after year, you know, on our on the show ring there at the Southeastern Youth yeah. Fair. You know, our banner's been there for the last five years, six years now. Six. And again, like Allie mentioned with the school board, I mean, that's this was our 14th year doing those teacher grants. So really? we've been doing this a long time where it's not wow. anything new to for the Realtor Association to give back to the community. Right. Right. So. Another thing that, Ellie, you took charge of this year was after the hurricane in Houston, and you got everybody together and started stuffing bags of necessity. And <laughs> Yeah, but then we needed it. And then we needed it here. here. So, but it was, yeah. I mean, I was so impressed with how many people actually showed up and helped and that we could send everything out either and how much stuff I we know, received i it know filled didn't the you whole have education room. yeah it was crazy. didn't you have like overage or oh, did you yeah. yeah and we delivered a lot of that to my passion is the domestic abuse center the women's shelter here in uh, ocala i've been working with them continuously f for the last 10 years and the overages we were able to give to them because they were in need of the shampoos and toothbrushes and toothpaste and we had restrictions on yeah. Yeah, what we could ship and what sizes so all the larger sizes we got to donate to them or Interface or whoever was in need. It's, it is fun. It's great fun to give back to the, the community and you're right they don't know what we do they think we're just we get in our car and we drive them around and, you know <laughs> sign, contracts. sign contracts and it's i i'm really proud of our association because i think we have such a great participation what do we have 1800 members throughout marion county now and some of those are secondary but you know out of that you know, we have such a good pool of people that are involved in our different community organizations or committees and that sort of stuff. Randy, you do a great job promoting that kind of stuff. I'm really proud of you. It's been a lot of fun watching you do this. So um, another really cool thing was the charity event. Now that wasn't y'all's project, but you helped with the YPN, which is our young professional network at the Ellie and, I, Ellie and I take the credit for it because YPN is actually a subcommittee of, of community awareness. Oh, okay. so. I didn't realize it was a subcommittee. It was, it is. Oh, wow. It is. Okay. So y'all did a fabulous job. The charity event, what is it, the fifth year now? No, it's many more years. Is than it? That. I it's, it's seventh like or eight. Seventh or eighth? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know for sure, but okay. I, I know it's more than five. Okay. It's, All right. Well, it's probably because I've been donating for five <laughs> that's why it made me um the charity event is um a special occasion that it is what it says chair c-h-a-c-h-a-i-r event and so uh, different um real estate companies and outside companies donate um furniture or out we always have themes but the cool thing is we have a big party everybody shows up and um, this it's a year, live auction. Yeah, live auction. auction. This year, you guys raised how much? <coughs> Thirty-two thousand. Thirty-two thousand. Thirty-two thousand. And that right. went to Kimberly's Cottage, which is a wonderful organization that helps kids really in need and in time of. One trouble. year, you guys did that wonderful yeah. settee and the porch, the outdoor the porch. Yeah, yeah. We we wow, we were, we were the fantastic. second largest. As far as raising money on that one, <laughs> I was really proud of that. that we had right. a lot of fun doing that. Right. We did. We had a lot of fun doing that. So some of the other events coming up. I know in 2018, um, you guys had done the garden show. And tell we, them about how that worked. We partnered with CEP with that. Right. It's a garden and lifestyles, home and garden lifestyles expo. Expo. And what we do is we get people with certain expertise to come and give classes to like new homeowners or even elderly homeowners that might want to do their own fix it up items okay. and their so house. So we have the home renovations <coughs> and uh, mortgage companies and credit and um, repairs and we have uh, just about everything to do with home ownership and including first time home buyers classes and um, who was that? We had the, a famous guy last year. I don't remember who he was, but. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, so you can tell we really are just um, <laughs> really just want to get you guys the information out. We might not be the experts, <coughs> but um, we love talking about this stuff. It was a great expo, though, and uh, you know it's. I saw it was on the charts for 2019. Right, it's the three, she mentioned the CEP, but we are also the Builders, local Marion County Builders Association and the Ocala Marion County Association of Realtors, all three of us partner together to put on that Lifestyle Expo. Over at the college. So yeah. it's a big deal. And I want to encourage everybody to look for it. It'd be in March or April. Yeah, I think that's what, let me look at my <coughs> notes. I believe it was um, April. Um, yeah, April. So... Make sure you get by. You'll see advertisement. We'll advertise it here on the show and on our Facebook. But in April, that rolls around. And they have really incredible expos as far as displays. And I, you had one that was the gardening that I really liked. So um, I like my gardening. <laughs> well, so. we'll start planning that in January if you want to join. Oh, okay. The Thank you. We'd love to have you. <laughs> <laughs> You, that's y'all. The community awareness is the only community I don't think I have been on. So um, I'll take you up on that challenge, Ellie. All right, good girl. Uh, that, good. Uh, you uh, know, we'd love to have you. We have two in my office that are already on the committee, and Holly Schmidt Holly is Schmidt. and yes. Ashley. Ashley's doing it this year because Holly said, you know, what fun you guys had and all the good works that you do. And Ashley's like, I want in on that. So, good. Good. so I will take you up on that challenge. Um, Light Up Ocala is another place that you guys really put a lot of effort towards and for. Can you tell everybody what you do at Light Up Ocala? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I guess this is probably our fourth or fifth year doing that as well. Um, Light Up Ocala, again, big event downtown. I think there was over 70,000 people that attended. And it was what huge I heard. It was this year. This, this year was, was incredible. crazy. Um, again, we have a booth. I think we you were there, passed out balloons and... All kinds of stuff. And, and face the, painters. The light up bracelets for the kids and right. stuff. And they uh, they give time slots to different real estate companies. So everybody can come out and kind of promote themselves right. and realtors in general. So, again, just getting the word out, hey, we're here right. and um, we're here to support the community. Are there any other projects, because you guys have a ton on here and a long list of things that you do. Is there something that you guys want to really promote for 2018? Well, the immediate thing coming up is, you know, the, the my, my passion, the youth care <laughs> is coming up at the end of February. So, you know, everybody come out. And you're out me. there. I'm out there every day. Uh, my daughter's show, uh, let's see, uh, beef heifers, lamb. Oh, she does? Hogs, the whole deal. So. Oh, I remember well, she did there. the sheep, but she's doing a... We're yeah, we're a done. cow this year. Yeah, we got we raised beef cattle, so we're uh, girls are showing them again this year. Wow! Is there anything else that, as far as well, the expo will be right after that, and then um, I think we have something in June. I don't know. We have something <laughs> every month it seems like. So yes, you can. And, and, and again, uh, just to explain a little bit how the committee, or, committee yeah. awareness committee yes, works, please, is that you know we'll have actually people come in from the community. You know, asking for money. You know, whether and you know, and again, we as a committee, we look at it, um, and if if we like the idea, we take that recommendation back to the board of directors. Um, how how can they come to you, Randy? Or? First tee um, program. Oh, this that year. was great fun golf. Yes. Yeah, I sponsored the major. You know, and again, that that's scholarships for kids. The first tee program is nationwide. Um, we have a new director here in town who happens also to be a realtor. Um, Who's that? And, uh, Greg Wise. Greg Wise. Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, again, he's the director of the First Tee program here locally. So we decided to, you know, sponsor some scholarships for the First Tee. Um, so again, as people come in and ask for those requests, um, the clean, the clean baby bottoms. Um, that's another little thing we support. Backpacks. Backpacks. We do backpacks. Oh, the yeah, backpacks. Stuff the bus. <laughs> yeah. Stuff the bus. The, uh, and bark for life. I'm telling you, American there's something Kansas every Society. month. If you yeah, want to get involved, you can what get involved. What is the, um, how would they reach you? If, if there's an organization out there that could use some help, how do they reach out you know, to con us to, to? Contact our association executive, Darlene Yance. Okay. Um, there, where our location is out there on 14th Street. And the uh, phone number, if it's okay for me to blurt it out. Six, yeah. 629-7077. And we'll and have all that contact information um, below after the show so everybody can reach out. Um, it's it's amazing and it's overwhelming, and I'm so proud of our organization as realtors. 
what we really do, you know, in the community. You know, everybody, nobody gets paid to do this. I, you know, I, and I don't think people understand that. When you sit on the board um, and, and part of these committees, we don't make any money. We donate our time and we bring a lot of money to the table and go raise money for our community. I mean, Randy, you've grown up here. I've grown up here. Ellie, did you grow up here? No, I've been here about uh, 15 years, though. Okay. So there, we do have such a pride in our, you know, I yeah. love Ocala. I love Ocala. I, I mean, where else could you live that you have the resources and, and the lifestyle that we have? Mm -hmm. I've lived around the country. You can't find it anywhere else. So, you know, I'm really proud of our organization for what we do in the community. And we're real proud of you. Too. Oh, thank you very much. This has been, this is a lot of fun. This is, you know, as I've said on some of the other shows, this is way out of my comfort zone. But the more we do it, I, I'm just really passionate about getting the information out. You know, one place that somebody can come to and, and understand what's going on, not only in the real estate market, but in our community, and really promoting the people that make Ocala special. So as uncomfortable as, <laughs> as I am in front of the camera, I'm just so passionate, and I can't thank you guys enough for coming. It's been wonderful. Well, thank you for having us. You're Jenna. welcome. Yes. You're absolutely welcome. Thank you so much. And we want to give a shout out to the White Elephant, who every show uh, provides us with the wonderful furniture for our set. She's downtown on Magnolia, Jen Townsend, wonderful lady. We're so proud of her. The other thing we like to always acknowledge is Schneider Flowers, who is wonderful and supplies us every show with a beautiful arrangement and uh, everybody have a great first month in 2018 and we'll see you at the end of the month. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. Remember, Southern Charm Realty TV, the place to be to create the real estate experience that you can trust and love. Thank you and have a great day. See you on our next show.